Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Vampire the Masquerade Redemption. Last time we met up with Lucretia at the end of the Temple of uh, Set. And as we tried to kill her, she basically ran away. Uh, she turned into a bunch of snakes and slithered away. And that's because we can't kill her because she doesn't actually have her heart in her. Not really sure how that works, especially for vampires. But apparently the rumor is that she keeps her heart in the Tower of London, which, of course, uh, seems to be haunted by a whole bunch of wraiths and ghoul spiders. I, I thought it was a touristic attraction, but never been to England. What the fuck do I know? So that's where we were. Uh, no, we don't want that. We want that. Uh... That one. Oh, hey, ghoulies. Hang on, I don't know why, but apparently I'm like full screen, and I don't want to be. We're not full screen, wide screen. Oh yeah, that's much better. How does that look? Looks okay on my end. Aluminum bat. Didn't I just go into town or something? Granted, it has been a little while since I played. You guys aren't carrying any. You guys carry this shit. Why am I carrying them? You guys are the lackeys. Oh boy. Yeah, that's good. Oh. And... You can carry that. Uh, okay, so where are we? Tower of London 3. What's going on here? Ooh, nice. We've got floating gargoyles, it looks like. Very nice. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, by the way, it is also... Uh, um, I've also been told that I should be using... I should be using Eyes of the Beast. So what that does is it shows... Um, hidden areas. Instead of the feed option there, I'll put that there. Yeah. 
The only problem is, I have a low perception. So, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to spot shit. See this. Switch and door. What is that? Monocle. Oh my god. Identify that shit. Increases vampiric senses. Oh. Increases visual senses. Is that the same thing? these ghosts, man. I ain't afraid of them. Needs ammo, though. Kristoff. 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 Relax, bro. me a rat. I drank me a rat. I, s I saw the shadow. Boy, Pink, you gonna come with us anytime soon? Return to me. Well, I'm not, you're on your own, bro. Can I go down there? I can. Oh, it's through there. Uh. Okay, we'll go down there first. Sure, why not? Why not? Oh, I got him, guys. I got him good, guys. It's like very 80s, like horror music, you know? I cannot see shit.
What is my perception? 50. Again, we got this guy floating over here. That's where we were. The Tower of London number four. Hello, housekeeping. I can't tell what's actually sound or like what's just background noise. The heart of Lu Lucretia. Well, actually, it's a box. I'm assuming the Heart of Lucretia is in it. I haven't opened it. I don't know what's in it. Behold, Lucretia's heart. A bloody heart. Yes, let's stake it. No. No. It. Nay. Let us return to the Temple of Seth. Mayhap Lucretia will be more agreeable now. Mayhap. Um... All right, you caught me by surprise here. Um, okay, might as well pump the last point into Dex. I'm not going to be racing that anymore. Let's do... What do we got here? What have we got here? So, Immolate. I do like Immolate. I should be using Immolate more. Might use it on a, on a boss, on a bless. Let's raise. Let's raise into a little bit. Raise wits. Um, you know what? Let's raise eh, feed. I don't really need feed anymore because. I got the the sword, and it's also actually been suggested to me that blood strength and blood dex are kind of not pointless, but potence is better. And I really should be using potence more because it, it really raises the damage. Yeah, let's do that. Fortitude. Hmm. I'm just curious to see what uh, this up is. Uh, nothing. Mask of a Thousand Faces, this guy's user is a targeted creature. Club the Gathering. Eh. So his blood healing is max, which is good. Let's raise his Feral Claws. Um, and then let's up his, let's up his dex a little bit more, and then we'll do strength. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. And you were just going to pump strength. Yeah. 
I'm happy with that. And her blood healing's full too. Cool. Oh, hi. God damn, look at us. I can tell someone cast celerity. my game. Okay, let's save, just because we haven't saved in a while. Oh god, am I going to have to walk all the way back? Oh, fuck it. I walk all the way back like a fool when I can just port home. Uh, whoops. The Bridge Haven. What? What do you want? What? What do you want? We have the flak jacket? Yeah. Fortunately, it doesn't look like he has any more. For now. Get lost. It's not very nice. Alright. Let's return to Lucretia. Ugh, we're gonna have to walk all the way down to the fourth fucking level, aren't we? Hopefully not. I'm just curious, are there still people around? There are. Yeah. Oh, hi. Come this way. You may go down to the temple. Hey, look at that. Look at that. random stake on the floor. I guess from when I was here before. I will take that. What does it sound like we're walking on sand? Probably are, really. So now that we've got our heart, Lucretia's like, why, why don't you come sit down? Let, let's chat. Let's have a nice little chat. Would you like some tea? Some blood tea. Damn you! Damn you! Damn me? Damn your wretched hide! We loves you too, Cretia. Now give me a good reason to put a stake right through your bloated blood pump. Lucretia? That will free Lily from her blood bond. Very well. Lily. You're free to go. Now thou will tell us where we may find the Zamitsi, the Giovanni, and the contraband from Prague. And the butcher, the baker, and the candlestick maker. No. All of them. The Zimitsi or Giovanni. We just load ships. <sighs> All I can tell uh, let's you... Let's go. Come on. ...is that the next ship out is the St. Magdalena. Mark 23. <laughs> Guns. Her 
ruin emigrating Sabbat and the sacred earth of Prague. Now give me the heart, and I'll let you leave in peace. Pink, thou shalt return her heart. No way! We have to check her info first. She could be lying. Nay, such a lie would cost her death. Maybe she knows you're a softy. We came here seeking knowledge of the shipments. We have that, so let us go. Okay. Here. Yeah. yeah. Now, of course, she's double crossing. Let me guess, giant snake? How did I guess? How did I fucking guess? Oh, jeez. I didn't have I didn't put potence down there. And she's dead. Are you gonna die too? He's gonna die too. Okay. Before we move on, you know what she reminds me of? I don't know if you guys ever watch Undergrads. Um it was a show that only ran for like one season, it was an animated show. There's this character in there, this guy named Cal. He'd like Hey guys, how's it going? He'd like have that thing. That's what she reminds me of. I know she's hissing and not necessarily like sucking her spit back in, but that's what it sounds like. Okay, I shall drain this heart of its blood and gain the power of this foul priestess, or I shall destroy this heart and and forever the wickedness of this foul priestess. Ooh. Now this would could be considered diablery. Drain the heart of its blood and gain the power of this foul priestess. Yeah, that's basically like... It's called Diablary. It's cannibalism. And it's a big no-no in the world of vampires. Um, because basically, yeah, if, if you drink some... If you drink a vampire's, like, blood, like, drain them, you basically gain their power. And regardless of the fact that we've been doing it to other vampires throughout the whole game, you do it to, like, someone that's higher generation than you, it's... It's a big no-no. It's taboo. Or I shall destroy this art and, and forever the wickedness of this foul priestess. I'm going to guess, if I choose the first option, I'm going to lose humanity. I think my humanity is 90. Um, and we want a high humanity because that's how you get the best ending of the game. I believe there's three endings. There's the, the good, the medium, and like the best ending. And we want the best ending. Uh, I'm not exactly sure how much humanity you need. But, hey, man, the higher the better. So I'm going to destroy this heart. And not drain it. I shall destroy this heart and end forever the wickedness of this foul priestess. <laughs> well... I told you we should not give the art to such a one as she. Uh, oh, I gained a discipline group anyway. Serpentus. Uh, Eyes of the Serpent. Mesmerize. So I'm going to ask. Steals Vitae from the target. That's pretty awesome. That's basically a theft of Vitae, I would guess. Protects user from damage with snakeskin. Affects appearance. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I'm guessing that's like... Um, oh, what's it called? The... Um, not potence. What was it called? Fortitude. That's the word. Hatch the viper. Creates a viper. 
Ah, uh, do I want to go this route? You know what? Sure. Why not? Three is thirty-seven fifty. Yeah, I'll I'll save the rest of my XP. All right. What are we gonna give you? Um. Maybe we can raise your celerity a little bit more. Feral Claw is already four. You know what? Let's raise your celerity. 2,000, 4,000. All right, you're at max celerity. And we'll put you to 80. And we'll save the rest of your points for now. Give you potence and a level in celerity. Yeah. Better not me have you walking back all the way up again. Yeah, they are. Okay. Uh, what does this do? Immolate, right. Blood strength, I didn't really want. I want to try Tongue of the Asp. Um, and Potence I will put here instead of Celerity. Yeah. You know what? H is healing, right? Yeah, I'll actually put this here. And I will put... Um, what did I just have there? Celerity, right. Just because I think I'm going to raise my celerity later on, too. Uh, okay, so. Walk the abyss. Sap gloves are kind of pointless. 15 bashing? Yeah. Get lost! You know, it's not very nice. So, board the St. Magdalena. So, you can board the cargo ship St. Magdalena in East London to gain passage to America. Amerique.
good sir. Do you know where the Magdal Saint Magdalena is, sir? You don't know nothing. You don't know nothing about nothing. Hmm. Wait, is this a ship? Yes, that is a ship. I thought it was just like darkness. So do I just board it? Oh, how convenient. That was the ship. Sandra's warehouse. Um, they'll find everything. The guns. The heroin. The Prague contraband. Everything. Please. I'll be damned. The cops are Interpol. What is this Interpol? Kind of an international police force. It's not kind of. That's exactly what they are. Look, I changed their IDs to look like us. Cool, huh? Might come in handy once we reach the Big Apple. The Tories finally pulling away. Ooh, New York, eh? Could use someone like you. <laughs> Could use someone like you. Faranesca. It's okay. It's okay. Just a nightmare. Look like a fish, bro. You. Oh, she's got us, eh? I was hoping to see like a fast paced editing of like going through the streets and shit. Like the very 90s thing to do. Alright. So it looks like we're in New York. <gasps> Thorn. Although his name is spelled differently. When the Interpol guy spoke of Thorn, it was did not have an E at the end. This guy is Thorny. Special Agent George Thorn, FBI. Let's see some ID now. This, uh, even his name doesn't have... You're late. Doesn't Interpol teach you to be on time? Good disguises. Or is that what everyone in Europe is wearing now? I'm just glad I don't have to work undercover. So what did you learn? The big boss is Alessandro Giovanni. Thou must, you must attack his warehouse. There you shall find weapons, opium, and the contraband of Prague. Good job. We've had our eye on Alessandro for a while. His warehouse is like a fortress, but our central computer recently cracked his security. Good we job. We got the access codes to his fortress safely stored in our secure offline database at FBI headquarters. Now we can raid the place before Alessandro can destroy the evidence. Thanks. Now make yourself scarce before someone sees you. Get back to Europe on the next ship. We shall join thy raid. Uh, thanks, but you've been compromised. We heard your cover got blown after your ship left London. Actually, I'm amazed you survived the trip. They put a hit on you and intended to kill you at sea. No, don't worry about the raid. We've got it under control. Now get lost. I must be a good influence on you, you old holy warrior. I got you lined to the coffers like a pro. I lied for Aneska, not thee. And what manner of beast is this central computer 
that it can besiege fortresses. Indeed. Wow, but you've got a lot to learn. Well, time to find the local Lex and start calling in favors to get access to that FBI computer. <laughs> oh my god, this is... This is so bad. Explore the streets of New York to gain information about the access codes. The streets of New York to access FBI computer codes. An offline computer, mind you. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Uh, by the way, Thorn, Thorn E, or Thorn without any, whatever your name is, lowercase g. Uh, very covert. Sunglasses in the middle of the night. Like, three-piece suit with fucking binoculars hiding behind some barrels. Very discreet. Homeless lady. Okay, before we do anything, complete defensive stance. So you don't attack some fucking random people. He is coming. He will awaken and devour us all. She sounded like she was orgasming as she was saying that. The time has passed. His time is over. His time is now. My slumber shall end after a thousand years. He rises. He rises. He is coming. He will awaken and devour us all. Whatever you say, lady. Ooh, what is that? Giovanni Warehouse is locked. Are those some Nosferatu? This is an affair of the Nosferatu. This one was improperly made, and by our laws must be destroyed. Help me, please! They're so bad. I refuse to be turned, and now they seek to kill me! My to the abyss with me! Thank you. Thank you. I'm in your debt. I am Samuel, of Clan Nosferatu. Locke, we couldn't figure that out from that sphincter you wear for a face. Be still. This is Pink, this is Lily, and I am Kristoff. Thank you. Thank all of you. Man, I should never have come to New York. This place is filthy with Sabbat. I was jumped by my own coterie who got turned to the Sabbat. I was sure I was worse than dead. The Sabbat are turning any vampire they find. They think the world will end this coming New Year's Day. When the calendar turns to the year 2000, they think some ancient evil will rise and kill all the antediluvian vampires. What a load of rot. Every baby lick knows it's the antis who are going to eat us. Are you sure? That's what they said. I heard it a couple of times. Ah, you couldn't hear a thing out of those cauliflowers you got for ears. Nay, this is familiar to me. Perhaps wise Ekaterina hath awakened me to stop our ancient foe. I think pus bag here has infected your brain, Chris. I owe you all a life boon. I'll gladly join you and fight your enemies. Oi, oi, hold on. Who said we'd take you? This is a private club for proper ladies and gents only. Oh, shut up, Pink. I'll never work with a stinking nossy. Peace, Pink. I require allies. <sighs> You better pull your scrawny weight, Wrinkles. What can you do besides stink up the place? Well, Pink, I can help you keep your knuckles from dragging on the pavement. Oh, ha, ha. Samuel, aren't thou versed in the lore of the central computer? Uh, no. But I know someone who does. Dev No. He lives here in New York. He's a completely brilliant hacker. Oh, but he's no cavian. Well, forget it then. Yeah. <laughs> Coward. Come on. Look, I'm gonna kick you right in your Sir Anthony Blunt if you call me that again. I just mean we ought to get someone who won't barf all over his keyboard and poke out his own eyes while we watch. Malkavian or not, we shall go to this dev now. I can see you never dealt with a Malkavian before. I shall learn. Samuel, take us hence. Okay, so we got a Nosferatu in the party. Um, interesting that he's walking around without breaking the fucking masquerade. 
but hey, maybe he is disguised. Sewers are locked. They locked the manhole covers, those bastards. Devnell's apartment. Oh, how convenient. It's right there. Literally. Um, okay. Stand thy ground. Before we go there, let's let's look around, actually. That map literally tells us nothing. So we got the police here. We got the gun haven. Let's see if they've got anything more than guns. These are great, but do you have anything bigger? Okay. You want to see the special stock, huh? Modified okay. these myself. Phosphorus round, auto loading, the works. It's a beautiful thing. I get your kind in here sometimes. Mostly those mobster bloodsuckers. Hey, I don't give a damn what you are. Believe me, I've seen worse in my day. He's a Winchester. He's seen some fucked up shit. All right, uh, I guess we're buying you some gear then. Reinforced clothing, no. No, no, no. Do you have anything in a flock? A satchel charge. Chain gun rounds. This game's got a fucking chain gun? Lambarish. 45 lethal. I do like that. I do like it. I, ooh, we, yeah, we could take the falchion. I mean, there's no strength requirement, and accuracy is five more. Yeah, falchion makes the most sense for this guy. Um, we should probably give him some kind of armor at least. Maybe something with some more lethal and aggravated. Armor. Okay, yeah, we'll give him a ride shield since it's one handed anyway. Uh, chain guns two handed, yeah. Yeah. And I guess. Don't really have a choice. This is 10. God, I can you can't even scroll down. Like you have to actually click it or highlight it rather. So how does a t-shirt have more armor than reinforced clothing? Guess I'm getting you the fucking t-shirt. Um I will get you the fucking helmet. They're literally the same thing. We'll get you the motorcycle helmet. We're, we'll cover your face up. All right, take her easy. <laughs> Look at him. All right. Uh, let's see what your characteristics are. Huh. Appearance is zero. Yeah, it's not surprising. I doubt we'd even be able to to raise that. Alrighty, Roo, let's get out of here. Cab to Uptown, New York. Uh, okay. 
So that's all we got here. Just literally this one strip. You know what? I'm gonna call it here for this episode. Because we are running a little late as it is. Uh, yeah, I'm... I don't remember this part at all of the game. As I said, like, it's it's been so fucking long. Um, and I did not think that we'd get a Nosferatu as, uh, as a companion. Uh, and again, I'm surprised that he's actually able to be out in the open without... Um, you know, uh, what's it called? Like, going against the Masquerade, basically, because... I mean, look at him. But, I don't know. He could have some... Actually, I'm curious. I'm curious to see what kind of obfuscate abilities he's got. None. He's, he's got two in the Cloak of Shadows. That's it. Even story-based, he should have... Should have higher. Oh, well. Anyways, as I said, that'll do for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.